So a lot of you already know about these. Um, they're caffeine supplements. When you don't have coffee and you're in a rush or otherwise moving around, you can't have the luxury of holding a coffee cup and swaggering around like you're at the office or something. Um, this is what real people use to stay awake. So, um, <clears throat> I have used these in the past, but then I learned about, um, the whole, uh, 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 ker kerfuffle about, um, uh, NutraSweet and aspartame. These are just loaded with aspartame. Um, so I don't, I don't partake of these. And, um. If you want to learn about the aspartame uh, kerfuffle, look it up. Um, they're just loaded with aspartame. And that's what those are right there. Can you read that? That word, that unpronounceable word. So, uh, <clears throat> just look it up. I'm not going to talk about it here. I don't want this video to get um, kerfuffled. So, uh, you don't want to be using too much of that, that stuff. I think this is a generic version right there. The P word. So, anyway. Beyond that, let's let's see. I'll, I'll list the link, an affiliate link, where to get it on Amazon if you want it. If they still have it in stock with everything going out of stock. Um, but it, it wakes you up in about 15 minutes. And uh, it's funny how they have the civilian dose and then they have the uh, military dose there. Um, you know, the two flavors. Like this one's a better one. And it's something I didn't know about. Apparently it exists. Probably a special production. Is this company. These Challenge Mints. And. Um, I can't even read that. There we are. See where my thumb is. Aspartame. So just loaded with aspartame. And. Um, I guess I could tell you real quick. So there was this guy, he worked for uh, a NutraSuite company. I don't even, I haven't looked at it in a, a couple of years, so my details are foggy. But anyway, they tested the NutraSuite formula on monkeys and they got a bunch of cancer and, and brain problems and things like that and going blind. <clears throat> and uh, so anyway, this fellow, you can look him up. He's pretty famous. He's... Passed away now, I believe. He went and became a satyr, and then he became uh, eh, eh, uh, pivotal in allowing pushing through the NutraSweet formula to be available to the public, even though it had been causing a lot of issues. So what happened was some of this stuff uh, in the first Gulf War was a des desert shield or storm or something like that. Um, there was some of this, uh, what I've been, I don't, my sources are foggy. Okay. So look it up yourself. So there's these bottles of these, these colas or whatever with NutraSweet in them, but they got sat, they sat, they sat out in the sun, the hot Kuwaiti sun and the NutraSweet broke down in the, in the wood alcohol and stuff. And, uh, it was pretty nasty. I don't know if. Uh, some people got injured out of that, I forget, but, but basically it breaks down in the wood alcohol <clears throat> in your body <clears throat> and, uh, how they get it isn't very good either. It comes, it's a crap out of some kind of bacteria. Um, so anyway, it's basically Franken food stuff. <clears throat> and so it, it's a good, it's a good reminder 
that when you start screwing around with the, the body's physiology, uh, usually you don't get anything for nothing. So uh, you might <clears throat> you might be able to stay awake, and then you might go blind or get cancer or something like that. So repeated use, use at your own discretion. So anyway, I have a Marine friend of mine, a uh, veteran. He went to the coffee shop, uh, well, the local store, and uh, he was shocked. The coffee, cans of coffee, went from $11 to $19. And he said he couldn't afford it. And so I told him about this military gum. forgot about these mints. And uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll give him a try. Now I'm going to tell him about the wood alcohol. And uh, I think it was a U.S. senator or something like that. I'm, I should know what I'm talking about. But I gave you enough details. You can Google it. Um, and, uh, and like that. And... I'm gonna warn him and everything, but he's probably gonna be like, "Oh yeah, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, um, they wouldn't give this, if something to the troops that would hurt them." It's, and it says right on there, uh, "Approved, safe to, and effective by the Committee of Military Research." What is that? There's a little star asterisk, but um. Probably on the back and tell you more. Well, I need to document this stuff because this may they may sell out and there won't be any more. Uh, yeah, I'll do. Look, I'll just document it. This what that means I'll open up the package a little more and be able to read it. But yeah, so use it at your own discretion. Like if you need to stay awake because you're on the road, <clears throat> it's pros and cons, right? If you need to stay awake to to get where you need to go and if you fall asleep you'll probably have a car wreck or something go ahead it's about the only time i'll use any of these because it's pros and cons it's, it's definite uh horrible things versus probable hor horrible things and definite is more precedent precedence than probable so i it's not even coming up very good on the screen here in this stuff I'll read it out to you ingredients sorbitol caffeine caffeine pellets natural peppermint flavor magnesium stearate circulose gum acacia esulfame potassium aspartame vitamin B6 as pyrodoxine HCI and FD and C blue one Contains 85 milligrams of caffeine per serving. That's this, these challenge mints. The uh, the blue color, the F, FDAC, FDIC, FDA colors and stuff is a whole other rabbit hole. If you want to read about that, learn about that. Let's read on the back of this. What's it? What's in here? Let me bring this up a bit. Ingredients, sugar, dextrose, gum base, natural artificial flavors, caffeine, glycerin, corn syrup, corn syrup's another one you should look up, aspartame, acesulfame, mal mal maltodextrin, circulose, aspartame, dang, they got aspartame twice on this, artificial colors, including blue, one lake, resinous glaze, carbon wax, neotame, Soy lecithin and BHT to preserve freshness. Phenylalanine contains phenylalanine. That's the nutra sweet. That's for team. And let me open this up a little bit. Let's see what was in there. Give me a, a hot second. So yeah, I, most of you people don't watch these videos all the way. You click off real fast. It looks like you're already screwed up. Like your brain's already fried or something. So. I don't know why I'm doing all this.
<laughs> okay, 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 you know, this is funny in, in a sick way, okay? So, recommended safe and effective by the Committee on Military Research. Now, you look under that, that flap. I'll read you the fine print here. <clears throat> Asterisk, neither the National Academy of Sciences nor the Institute of Medicine has approved or endorsed any product distributed by our firm. <laughs> so it's like it's like a bogus committee they set up to put that on there. <laughs> but everything's bogus. They're all bogus. Boguses fighting boguses. They're they're all clowning clowns getting getting their their uh, prerogatives. Um, clown committees. So anyway, I would recommend looking at uh, natural uh, and organic, and uh, there's some other other things to, to go for. This this is a, this is complete industrial uh, waste. It gives you benefit, but it hurts you in the long term. Type of stuff, kind of like kind of like um, a lot of other things. You they're not supposed to be you're not supposed to be doing to your body. <laughs> so. Um, anyway, I'm gonna give these to my Marine Corps veteran buddy, and I'm gonna tell him the warning. He's, but you know how Marines are. They, they, they're, they're like, oh yeah, you know, it's basically living for the day type of deal. And uh, he probably won't care. He'll probably be fine. But uh, I just thought I'd make a little video before I give these away. I didn't know what I'd do with them. I mean, I just feel bad giving them out because I know better. Okay, this is Military Industrial Museum. I'll I'll probably put a link if this video gets popular. I'll probably put a link in the description where to get these on Amazon. And it if you want to type it in yourself, there you go. There you go. So anyway, okay, so I saw life goes on and check check everything I said if you don't believe it. You know, check out the uh, Asper team and uh, that senator. And, um, uh, you know, put some comments in if you, if you find out what you find, if you, if you, if you want to help other people, a lot of people are too lazy to look things up or too busy. All right. The Military Industrial Museum with another artifact to show you. Take care.